So hello everyone. My name is Nitish Sharma. Today we will talk about Cisco's FTD. What is FTD? First we need to understand this. FTDs is basically a Cisco's answer towards next generation firewall. Now the question comes is what is a next generation firewall? It's a terminology which is being given to the world by Gartner. Gartner is basically an analytical company who does analysis for different vendors on different technologies and accordingly they give their quadrant reports. So Gartner has introduced this terminology to the world long back, say for example, two decades ago and that's how it became into the picture. Cisco, before they came into the world of next generation firewall, they used to have their legacy firewall, which we all know, well known called as ASA engine or ASA as a firewall, which we call as adaptive security appliance. And the heart and the engine of the ASA firewall is called as Lina engine, Linux over ASA. Now this ASA firewall is capable of providing few features like layer three filtering, source IP destination IP. It is capable of doing layer four filtering on the basis of the port. It is capable of giving you filtering on the basis of protocols. It is capable of providing VPN on top of that remote access VPN, any connect secure client, which is the lately called as SSL VPN IPsec. It supports all you can do context on this particular firewall, right? Basically virtualization on the ASAs. It can participate in your active standby, active, active, basically uh, active and standby, which is called as your failovers. It can give you a concept of clustering. We can do the policy based routes over there, policy based routing and so on and so forth. But these are the main features which your layer seven is not there in the ASA and the, without that, these are the features which the ASA used to give it to us. Now comes your next generation firewall. The next generation firewalls are predominantly these features are there, but also on top of that some advanced feature used to be given with Cisco ASA were not able to give it. So what Cisco did, what they do the best, they do the acquisitions. The acquisition they did it is for the company called as SourceFire. They were not behind the company to be more honest. They were behind the engine and the name of the engine is Snot engine. This Snot engine has been introduced into the world in the year 1998 by Mr. Martin Rausch. And this guy only has introduced source fire to the world in the year 2001 also. This source fire company has acquired a company called as Clamp Antivirus, which will helpful to do the local malware analysis, which we call as LMA. And once the acquisition has done, Snot engine falls into along with the Lina engine and the product that Cisco has introduced to the world is called as FTD, which we call as firewall threat defense. Now, if you like to understand what are the features once Lina and the FTD has clubbed together, has given, few of them are, first, it is now capable of doing file filtering. File filtering basically meaning is what? File filtering is when you like to allow a PDF file and you don't want to allow TXT files, like on the basis of the files. And these FTDs are capable of detecting the types of the file by looking to the first 1436 bytes and they can detect it. They are capable of detecting the malwares, known as well as unknown. So unknown, they are also capable of detecting doing what? Zero day attacks using their sandboxing feature. So known attacks are there. So on the basis of the signatures, they can detect it, but there are zero day attacks. There are unknown attacks. So there they take the leverage of sandboxing with their advanced malware protections. It is capable of doing URL filtering where you wanted to block a particular URL. It is capable of doing filtering called as 
category based like you wanted to block an entire category i wanted to block say for example a news channel a sports channel gambling related thing bad activity sites and so and so forth so category based plays a very important and vital role over there it is also capable of doing centralized management and it is one of the leading features in today's world centralized management all the devices in today's world like to be get managed from a manager not individually anymore and that centralized box we all know is called as fmc a next generation firewall by ftd by cisco is also capable of doing geolocation filtering like on the basis of the ip address you can block a particular x y z countries and their country's ip addresses so geolocation filtering is also an important concept with reference to the ftds i'll put a points here ftds are also capable of doing application visibility control abc like in order to detect a certain applications now url is there but if you like to detect a particular application and you wanted to block a particular application and how granular you can go take an example assume that a particular user wants to go towards the facebook facebook should be allowed but within the facebook video calling voip comments all these particular things can be blocked that is called as application visibility control getting control on the applications that can be there by ftd ftd is also capable of doing ssl inspection in today's world we all know that end to end between the client and server the entire thing is being encrypted be it tls and all and in that if you have a middle device which is our next generation firewall so if from client towards the server if everything is blocked then how these all features are going to come into the picture so a box should be capable of in middle de encrypt the traffic do a thorough analysis re encrypt it and send it across to the other parties or towards the server so a next generation firewall should be capable of doing ssl inspection it should also be capable of giving intelligence security intelligence maybe you have allowed a particular x y z ip addresses in the source or maybe in the destination but maybe in the past they might have done certain bad or illegal activities maybe a particular ip address is completely blacklisted maybe security intelligence can do the things with reference to the ip they can do with reference to a url they can do with reference to your domain also all three an intelligence and the intelligence which is being given by the cisco is called as talos talos intelligence we say that suppose this talos a next generation firewall is also capable of giving wbrs code which is called as web based reputation score each website each domain as per the security intelligence get a particular score like how old that website it is or domain it is whether they being impacted in last 12 months how is their popularity and so and so forth also along with that a next generation firewall should be capable of doing identity filtering in order to do the identity filtering yes cisco ftd is capable of doing the integration with your triple a servers you can add the realms for that it can integrate with active directories ldap servers you can do the integration with cisco ice and so and so forth to do the filtering on the basis of the identities the groups and so and so forth also the next generation firewall which is our ftd which we are talking about is also capable of giving you a feature which is called as intrusions prevention 
और आईपीएस फीचर्स लाइक बिहेवियर एनालिसिस हाउ द बिहेवियर इज हैपनिंग फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर ट्रैफिक विच इज गोइंग फ्रॉम अ सोर्स ए टू द डेस्टिनेशन बी इंट्रूजन प्रिवेंशन इंट्रूजन पॉलिसीज बैलेंस सिक्योरिटी एंड कनेक्टिविटी सिक्योरिटी ओवर कनेक्टिविटी कनेक्टिविटी ओवर सिक्योरिटीज एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ अ नेक्स्ट जनरेशन फॉर ऑल ऑल्सो शुड बी केपेबल ऑफ गिविंग यू डेटा लॉस प्रिवेंशन नाउ इट इज डीएलपी प्रोवाइडिंग प्रोटेक्शन टूवर्ड्स योर सेंसिटिव डेटा लाइक क्रेडिट कार्ड इंफॉर्मेशन इज गोइंग फ्रॉम अ क्लाइंट टूवर्ड्स अ सर्वर सो इन द मिडिल the administrator of the next generation firewall can see all the sensitive data maybe the credit card information can be get leaked maybe the address maybe the mobile number so all the sensitive data should be obfuscated obfuscation is important obfuscation means making something unclear so dlp is also a very good feature that's being added on also in today's world third party integrations are also there you should be able to integrate with the third parties other vendors to get the susceptibilities and so on and so forth so when i'm talking about cisco ftd these are the features to giving along with that on the ftd it is also capable of giving you clustering you can do active standby they are capable of doing policy based routings you on top of that you can do the vpns they are capable of layer 3 layer 4 layer 4 and protocols time based time based filtering on the basis of the time and you can do a recurring also monday to friday 900 hours to 1700 hours office time the people should be able to go to the internet post that no time based filtering you can add it the next generation firewall have all these features cumulated together a one product which we are talking about ftd and can be managed from a centralized device which we call as manager is giving us a upper edge but what new thing that cisco ftd has added over the period of time that is the concept of eve encrypted visibility engine now what is eve assume cisco is giving this ssl inspection right now what is ssl inspection uh, inspection that means from a client to a particular server the traffic is end to end being encrypted ssl inscript, uh, inspection says that in transit the traffic should be getting deencrypted followed by follow all these particular features reencrypt it and send it to the server but in order to do all those particular things it's a high resource incentive like too much resources are going to be get included in that so in today's world it has been introduced machine learning artificial intelligence what cisco eve says that without de encrypting the traffic their product it's still capable of telling that meaning if at the layer 7 the packet is completely encrypted still they are capable because of their fingerprints billions of fingerprints are there they can provide and tell you that whether the particular payload is having any malicious content or not one of the best feature that the cisco ftd has introduced encrypted visibility engine and these all features club together is available on ftd and that is what we learn in our course which is cci security version 6.1 thank you very much for joining and having a look to this particular session i hope you enjoyed this session my name is nitish sharma and i am the trainer for the same course so if you like the content and looking for more videos like this please do like comment and subscribe our channel thank you very much